Today we're going to be doing a video on Minecraft Legends with the GTX 1060, which is the recommended specs for this game. I'm preparing the GPU with an i5-4590, which is running at 3.5 GHz, which again is the recommended specs for the CPU. So going into the settings and then video, here we are. We don't really get too many options, we get just the preset, our resolution, a field of view, and that's pretty much it. Our default field of view is 60, but I've increased it to 90 so we can see more, and it makes the game look better. And we're playing the game at 1080p at the low preset. Alright, let's jump into the game and see what we can get. It took us a while to get into the game, but finally we're in and we're getting 160 FPS. But I've gone ahead and built a little base over here. It's nothing special, it's just a bunch of fences and gates. Just to see if it would impact the performance at all. And it does in certain areas. Looking this way, the FPS falls down to the 140s. But at the same time, if I walk past the little base, the FPS will stay very similar in the mid to high 40s, or 140s. But if I turn around, it goes back up into the 150s. So it's pretty inconsistent, but in certain areas the FPS will fall down quite a bit. But as you can see, the main flaw of the low settings is the pop-in with the shadows and the actual blocks themselves, which doesn't really look great. But if you want to get above 144 the whole time, then playing at the low settings with this card is a way to do it. Now as you can see, the GPU is sitting at 70% usage, which means it's getting bottlenecked by the CPU, which does make sense because you're playing at the low settings, so it's going to be far less GPU intensive than playing at the high settings, for example. But in the spec sheet, it does say Intel Core i5 that is running at 3.5 GHz. It doesn't tell us what generation, which is kind of dumb, but it is what it is. But as you can see, a 4th Gen i5 is bottlenecking us at 1080p, low settings with a 1060. And for system RAM, we're sitting at 5 gigs. We have plenty left over. We have 8 gigs in total. But I think most systems at this point have 16 gigs anyway. So it should be fine regardless. And the VRAM is sitting at 1.5 gigs. So again, if you've got a VRAM limited card, then this game should still run quite fine in that sense. Now, playing at the medium settings, the FPS is going to be the same, but as you can see, the GPU usage is up into the 90s now instead of the 70s and 80s. So it's definitely getting far more intensive, but again, since we had a bottleneck before, the FPS isn't affected. Now, looking at the actual game, we're getting more shadows, it seems like, with the grass, which does look better, and the pop-in is less obvious. We're still getting it at times under the trees, but overall, again, it's just it's more subtle. All right, let's get some stone and let's get some wood so we can start making a base over here and see how that affects the performance. All right, get some wood over here. Whoa, that was so... What was that? That was extremely loud. No, oh, the pigs are running away. What are you guys doing? Come over here with me. Yes, that's what I thought. Right here, the FPS is falling down to the 130s. Again, very playable, as you would expect for this kind of game. I think for this card, or anything similar to this card, I would go with the medium settings. I've already played at the high settings before, so I know how it runs. And the performance is kind of all over the place. So I'll show you guys how it runs in a little bit, but already I can tell you that the medium settings is the way to go. It's a bit overkill for the FPS. We are sitting at over 100 the whole time, but trust me, it's far more consistent. Okay, we got 400 wood and 700 stone, so we can go ahead and build ourselves a little base. Start with the gate, put it right over here, and then maybe some walls around it. Look at that, looking real nice. I'm not a base builder, as you would expect, <laughs> but we can pretend. But I'm already out of wood? That was so quick, I barely used any. Put a gate over here, I think I just killed a pig. So I think on average we're sitting pretty much in the 130s up into the 140s and the max FPS is around 150 and 160. Now the main issue with the medium settings is the pop-in, again with the shadows and the actual blocks. As you can see right here, the little mountain over here will have a lot of shadow popping in as I walk forward. Do you see that? It's very obvious and it kind of ruins the look of the game. But other than this, the game looks great. And it's running really nicely as well. There's no stuttering, there's no lagging, and we're pretty much sitting at 100 FPS and above the whole way through. Alright, let's go ahead and pause the game, push it up to the high settings, and run it back again. Now, playing at the high settings in the same area, we're sitting in the 80s and 90s, which is pretty nice actually. It's pretty nice, very playable. Falling down to the 70s here, the mid 70s. I'm walking through the base. The game does feel kind of micro stuttery to be honest. The aiming of the mouse movement isn't as fluid as before. Oh, what a weird looking base. Better get the right angle. There we go. There we go. There we go. Looking over the map. Sitting in the 90s. It's quite fantastic. But I've seen the FPS go as low as 
the 50s with the high settings so keep that in mind but yeah the benefits of the high settings is the pop-in or the lack of pop-in as you can see I'm looking forward and the shadows aren't popping in anymore on the mountain looks great and keeps you immersed in the game which is fantastic but again the downside of this is the FPS loss you will fall into the 50s in those more heavier scenes so if you don't mind that then play at the high settings but if you do care then you might want to think about playing at the medium settings instead all right finally playing at the ultra settings as you can see, we're sitting in the low 70s slash the 60s now. The game looks gorgeous. Look at the sun rays coming through. It looks amazing, actually. But at this point, the FPS can easily fall into the 50s, even in those lighter scenes. Now, playing through at the ultra settings myself, the FPS has gone as low as 35 for me. Um, but on average, I was sitting pretty much in the 50s and 40s. So overall for me, the ultra settings is a bit much for this card. Obviously you can get 60 FPS right here, but in my personal experience, the FPS was falling into the 40s and 50s quite often. So just try it out, see if you like it, and maybe play out the high settings for a little bit, see if you get those FPS tips like I did. If you don't, then just stick with it. And if you do, then you can go ahead and play the medium settings. The game looks good, but it gets some pop in, which is kind of unfortunate. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time for the next video. See you guys there.